Hello, brothers and sisters. I wanted to talk today about the Bible verse, James chapter 5, verse 16. And that verse says, confess your sins to each other and pray for each other so that you may be healed. The prayer of a righteous man is powerful and effective. So let's break this down. The first part says, confess your sins. So we know that confessing your sins means that you're admitting to what you've done, whether it's stealing, lying, um, committing adultery. These are all sins. And the Bible goes into great detail of which sins um, will not inherit the kingdom of God. So confessing your sins is very crucial to getting free. It goes on to say, confess your sins to each other. So it's not something that we are supposed to keep to ourselves. Whatever sin you're committing, you need to tell it to your brother or sister in Christ. We are all here for each other. We should not be judging one another, making fun of one another, because we all fall short and we all need prayer. We need to fellowship and we need to build that community. So after you confess your sins to each other, we are to pray for each other. Okay, so we are called to pray, to help one another, to encourage and uplift the Bible says how our words should be edifying. If it's edifying, then it's not tearing someone down. It's it's lifting them up. And it says so that you may be you may be healed. So by doing all of this, healing will come forth. It's very simple, but we make it really hard because there's just some things we don't want to confess. There's just some things we're too embarrassed to talk about, but I'm telling you, find that true dedicated brother or sister in Christ that you know you can trust and go to them so that you may be healed. God doesn't want you walking around holding that inside your heart and your thoughts and you're walking around in shame when you when you need to be walking around in heal in healing. So don't be afraid to confess your sins to your brother or sister in Christ. It goes on to say the prayer of a righteous man is powerful and effective. So going to someone who is doing the best they can on this walk and their actions and deeds and, you know, they're really a serious brother or sister in Christ. They are not out here in the world. They are truly about the father's business. That is a powerful, righteous man or woman of God. And when they pray for you, it's going to move God. It's powerful and it's effective. So I pray that this helped you. Many of us are dealing with so many different issues in our mind and in our body and in our hearts. And healing will come forth once we confess our sins to one another and pray for each other. And then the healing is there. It's very easy and we can move forward to help other brothers and sisters in Christ and reach lost souls. So I pray this helped. Have a blessed night.